Zinc TV was on the red carpet for the third annual fashion and football draft party for top NFL draft pick, offensive tackle, Trent Williams. Here's Coral King with the report. Tell us, what can we expect tonight? Tonight you can expect pure madness, pure NFL madness, a bunch of players off the field, in the club, just celebrating. This is NFL Draft Week, so we really want to congratulate most of the players um, who come through and those who want to wish you well as you go into the big league. Now, how are you merging fashion and football? Pretty much just merging the high-end designers who typically don't make clothing for these bigger guys and kind of trying to get them to see the vision of, they wear it nicely, why don't you start making things for them? Priscilla, you're a draftee? Yes, I am. How special is that? Very special because it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and I'm enjoying all of it. Now, there are lots of kids out there who are interested in football, but how important is education? Education is very important. You can listen to your teacher, do your work, and you'll get to where you want to be. So how is it like being a female in that male, you know, kind of sports where you're tackling people, where you have to be rough? Well... It's actually, I, I think that we go harder than the men. Um, we're in less padding. We only have shoulder pads, elbow pads, and knee pads, and we're hitting just as hard. Are you in Brooklyn's Finest? I saw the movie. Which yeah. character were you? Yeah, I played uh, Undercover Cop, Gutter. It was basically the bait in the setup to uh, setting up Wesley Snipes' character in the strip club scene. Yeah, a friend of mine, Nikoi Banks, uh, Don Tito, you know, he's in there doing some work and stuff. And who is your husband? Tell us. My, well, my ex is Michael Aloha Candy, and um, he played for about 10 years. I was with him for 10 years, and now I'm single. <laughs> so tonight is all about fashion and football. Which one are you into? Definitely fashion because I don't even understand like one rule in football. I really don't. <laughs> Maurice Leggett from Kansas City. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I love your necklace, by the way. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so are you into football or fashion? Uh, I'm into more. looking good. <laughs> into more football than fashion. Okay. Now, Christina Mendez, you're a plus-size model. How is it like being a plus-size model? Well, I'm excited to be part of it now because the trend is changing definitely. You know, Glamour is celebrating us and W Magazine is celebrating us. So I'm excited to be part of this trend. I think that beauty comes in all shapes. And when I was younger, I always wanted to model, but I never saw anyone that resembled me. So starting off now, you know, getting back into the game and to actually have people who've done it and been successful, it's really motivating. So as a young girl, I'm sure that I'm motivating them like hey she kind of looks like me we kind of have the same shape I can do this so it's all about inspiring them. Jamal Gravy how are you doing tonight? How are you? Good thank you how was it like being in the Notorious B.I.G. movie and you know Notorious is such a great figure to the hip-hop community. Oh um, it was great it's like a dream come true never thought I never thought I'd be acting though. What would you tell young guys looking up to you today? Uh, no dream is too big. So now it's off season you're just down and relaxing and partying. No nah, not too much partying <laughs> a lot of working out I mean tonight a little partying a little mingling but for the most part you know tomorrow but right back to work. Brad Lockett from the Patriots how you doing tonight? I'm good how are you? Good thing. Uh, so you flew in here especially for this party? Yes I did I just I just touched down about two hours ago got dressed and came right here we're actually doing a party at um, Amnesia tomorrow you know I'm gonna be hosting it it's gonna be for Haiti so putting that on and you know just came out to show my face and have a good time. Oh nice so you're doing something to benefit someone else it's good to see football players and celebrities helping out other people. Exactly you know we just we got to give back you know we're so fortunate and so blessed to you know make this kind of money and have these talents that we definitely got to give back. You're in the draft. Yeah oh, it's a great feeling you know dream come true I'm ready for it. Well, you're in the top five right? You know it's what they say but we, we, we won't know the Thursday. Okay now how much hard work do you put into this? Oh, it was everything. It was my life, man. It's a lifelong dream, and I put everything I had into it, and it's paying off. Which college are you from? Oklahoma. I ain't, the, I ain't the really the fashion type guy, but I'm working on it a little bit. I'm but you're more into the football. I'm more into the football. I'm more into the football. Get it done off the, get it done um, on the field, and you know maybe off the field look, try to look presentable one day. Now, what do you do to work out and keep looking how you are? Oh, I mean, I've been working out this whole off season in Michigan. I'm a friend of the state of Michigan. Uh, this workout every day, as far as running and lifting, you know, getting ready for the season. You know, even though the season is over, you can't you can't relax because then you won't find yourself in the lead that long. Mm -hmm. So when you're not 
playing football, do you play maybe basketball? What other sports are you into? <laughs> Zero sports right now. No? Because I don't want to get hurt. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You get hurt, they get rid of you, you can't get paid. <laughs> so, uh, no sports right now. You know, I watch a lot of sports. I'm, I'm definitely in basketball. I'm a big basketball fan, so I love to watch basketball. But other than playing sports, I don't, I don't do anything mm -hmm. at all. Spend time in the community. That's what I do. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you get back a little bit in the community. Oh, what always. would you tell the kids who are looking up to you? I mean, just always continue to work hard. You know, um, no matter what you do, put 100% into it. You know, um, whether you're going to be a doctor, lawyer, athlete, you know, put the hard work you put into it. You know, what you put into it is what you get out. If you don't put anything into it, so just continue to work hard. And, you know, don't let people tell you that you can't do it because you can do it. I love that. Thank you, Lamar. Uh, thank you.